Hey everybody, I'm John J. Barry, and let's take a second to talk about how we can spice up our lead lines using triads. Stick around. Hey everybody, today I'm going to be talking to you as if we're all in A major. So, A major has A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, and A in it. Now the idea that I'm trying to show you guys today is instead of using one arpeggio shape sweeping up and down or running up and down the same scale shape we know, like in this case A Ionian or something like that, A major, uh, we could use different triads that are diatonic to A major. For those of you that don't know, diatonic means pertaining to the same key. So for example, all these triads are diatonic to the key of A major, using those notes I said earlier. So for this lick, I'm going to use an A major chord that sounds like this, a C sharp minor chord that sounds like this, and an E major chord that sounds like this. Why am I doing that? Well now, instead of just sweeping an A major triad, now I'm implying an A major 7 with a 9, because I'm stacking triads. In this case, I'm stacking triads in thirds, right? Because A, C sharp, and E. Check out this lick. So all I really did there was take an A major triad, a C sharp minor triad, and an E major triad. And I connected them like this. Now another thing to note about this line is the rhythm of the changes. I really like how that flows and helps the line build over this bar. And that's pretty much it, folks. I've been John J. Barry, and I really hope that this quick little lesson was able to give you a tool to help your vocabulary grow and add some spice to your licks. If you thought that this was helpful, please click that subscribe button down below. It really helps me out a lot. And uh, if you have any requests for something else we could talk about, please leave them in the comment section below. I love to hear what you guys want to work on, and I'd be more than happy to help. Take good care.